why are we defined by our periods? Like we have so many times with difficult periods that are heavy, painful, irregular, and we're just not given treatment. Suddenly we've become perimenopausal and menopausal and every doctor seems to want to know about our periods. Like what the hell, why is it about periods? So if we take a step back and think about our hormones affecting every single cell in our body, but they're not just produced by our ovaries, they're made in our adrenal glands, they're made in our brains, they're made in our muscles, even our heart makes estradiol. So then, like, how does our heart know about our periods? Of course, it's ridiculous, isn't it? So that means there's lots of women who still have regular periods, so they're still producing enough estradiol and progesterone for their regular cycle, but they've got less amounts of those hormones or they might be testosterone deficient because we know testosterone starts to decline in the late 20s, early 30s. So many of us will be testosterone deficient before we're deficient in estradiol, progesterone affecting our menstrual cycle. 